Many of these people have mental illnesses. Their desperate families have left them here because they have nowhere else to turn. Daily prayers are their only treatment. This prayer center is one of the largest in Togo and one of many across West Africa. This evangelical pastor says he's doing God's work here. Si quelqu'un est malade, comme un trou manteau, on a qu'à venir chez nous et on va prier pour eux. Par la grâce de Dieu, il va trouver la guérison. Un homme ou une femme enchaînée, bloquée dans le bois, j'ai dit toujours, c'est pas leur faute, c'est pas la faute des familles, ils savent pas quoi faire. La grande. Grégoire Aungbonon has spent his life trying to provide an alternative for people with mental illnesses. Les malades mentaux sont les oubliés des oubliés. Ils sont considérés comme des gens qui sont possédés, frappés par la sorcellerie. Hein? Ils sont réduits comme des ordures, comme des déchets humains au milieu de la société. Aung Bono is the founder of Saint Camille de Lely, a mental health organization that runs eight centers in Ivory Coast, Benin, and Burkina Faso. We visited him in Benin, one of the poorest countries in the world. The government spends little on health care. Medical treatment for people with mental illness is almost non-existent. Ce sont les derniers soucis de nos autorités. Au Bénin, d'où je suis originaire, il n'y a qu'un seul hôpital qui a pris. Vous n'avez pas d'argent, on ne vous reçoit pas. Aung Bonon used to run a successful tire repair business. But in the 1980s, it went under and he fell into depression. J'ai tellement perdu que j'ai failli me suicider. J'ai commencé à mener une vie très, très misérable. He realized that in West Africa, most people with mental illnesses get no treatment. He started Saint Camille to provide care to anyone who needed it. Close to 300 new patients come to Saint Camille's centers in Benin every month. They get food and shelter, a diagnosis, and for a small fee, regular doses of psychotropic medication. At one center, Aung Bono brought in John off the streets. The staff cleaned him, shaved his head, and gave him fresh clothes. Il a fait déjà des nuits, des jours, sans jamais se laver. Ce sont des gens qui vont même boire l'eau des rues, l'eau dans les carnivaux. John received routine medical tests and a psychiatric assessment. Most patients here have severe mental illnesses, like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Pierre Sens, a volunteer psychiatrist, says the drugs patients take are effective even without psychotherapy. Un grand malade, très délirant, très halluciné, la Saint-Camille le tire très vite d'affaires, très vite, parfois en quelques jours. C'est absolument étonnant. But Saint-Camille cannot monitor patients over the long term, which means they risk being over-medicated. On voit des patients qui ont fait un épisode psychotique aigu et que on continue à soigner par des médications lourdes. C'est là où est le vrai problème. Est-ce que ce sont vraiment des schizophrènes qui doivent continuer à être soignés avec une thérapeutique lourde? Tu manges bien, il n'y a pas de problème. Tu bois assez d'eau. Nurses provide most of the care. Saint Camille gives them basic training, but much of the time they're on their own. Aung Bonon doesn't deny the challenges. Mais pour moi, le plus important, c'est pas forcément la guérison de tout le monde. Mais c'est la dignité de leur personne. Ça, c'est notre lutte. At Saint Camille, patients also learn practical skills they can use to earn money. Raymond Madou was one of Saint Camille's patients. Once he began to take medication for bipolar disorder, Aung Bono helped him set up this bakery. He now runs it with other recovered patients. Le travail libère l'homme. Sans le travail, l'homme n'est rien. Si les autres aussi, ils trouvent du travail à faire, ils, seront aussi, ils auront aussi la joie de vivre, comme moi. Je suis
Before he came to St. Camille, Madou's family tried everything they could to help him. Like many others, he ended up chained at a prayer center like this one. Across West Africa, these places of worship promise to cure any ailment, including mental illness. They appeal to families with very few options. Aung Bonon believes St. Camille has helped to shut down prayer centers in Benin. But prayer centers are still thriving in neighboring Togo. Aung Bono took us to the largest one he's seen. It's called Jesus is the Solution. It's run by Paul Numonvi. It's been 12 years that I've started my ministry in Kovesi. Numonvi's center has become one of the largest in Togo. He told us patients don't pay for treatment, but families sometimes give gifts when they're healed. He also runs prayer gatherings that attract thousands of people who donate to his church. He took us behind the prayer hall, where people with mental illnesses are kept. There are 153 men and women here. Patients stay for weeks, months, even years, often without any diagnosis. These people sleep outside in all weather, living in their own filth, until Numonvi sees a sign that they're healed. Aung Bonon now wants to expand St. Camille to Togo. He wants to ensure that people with mental illnesses always have a safe place to go. Parce que tant qu'il y a un homme qui est enchaîné, c'est l'humanité qui est enchaînée. Quand je vois un homme bloqué dans le bois ou enchaîné, c'est mon propre image. Et c'est l'image de tout un chacun de nous tous.